Consider everything as a joy. And that joy will enable you to endure on the battlefield of life. But not to endure in any forlorn way, to endure joyfully because you know the outcome before the battle even starts. Perseverance is concerned with how to live joyfully in Christ above your circumstances. Because joy is your hiding place. And we'll teach you the joy of persistence. Perseverance is a place of delight and desire where you will experience our presence even in the upheavals of life. It is our will for you that you are constantly refreshed, that you be like us, untiring, uncompromising in our alignment with each other and with all that we purpose to do that you become like us, not like the world around you. And the law of life in Christ Jesus will cause you to overflow. That whoever drinks of the water that we give will never thirst. That you would never be dry. But that in you there will be a well of water springing up that all people around you will drink from who you are, will drink from your words, will drink from your inspiration, will drink from your presence. There are rivers of living water that belong to you. A fullness of the Spirit so huge, it will fill everything that you are and overflow and encompass every part of your territory that we have given you. You are to live on earth as we live in heaven. That's the deal we made with you. That's the agreement we have with you. That is the covenant we have with you. You are not ordinary. But you are about to discover just how extraordinary you really are. Do you really think that you could live in us and have us live in you and that you would be ordinary? Seriously? Come on. See it the way we see it. Oh, we have plans for you. We have a purpose for you. And it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. It doesn't matter how close you are to leaving this earth. You can still finish well. You can still finish better than at your beginnings. You can still succeed. You can still leave that legacy. Be known for something. Be seen as someone. disconnected from us keep yourself plugged in by learning to abide and we say to you surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever It doesn't matter if you run, we'll find you. You cannot shake goodness and mercy. They will track you down and overwhelm your heart again. Don't run from me, beloved. Run towards me. 
believe that you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living and you will never know despair. The law of life in Christ is that a promise elevates every circumstance. We have made war on negativity and we have taken it to the cross and we have killed it. And in its place, we have put an endless flow of possibilities around your life. And we tell you that every problem comes with a provision and a promise and we'll teach you how to overcome. Every difficulty is designed for your benefit and your blessing. See it the way we see it. Come to us in that way. Come to us with your confession. Father, I know that you have attached a promise and a provision here. Let me see it. And we will show it to you. Because we want you to have it. It's yours. It's part of your inheritance. The promise and the provision belong to you. The problem is designed to upgrade your experience of us. See it how we see it. And you will never be overwhelmed or overcome. Always position your heart to receive. to us as the beloved come to us as the bride not as a widow come knowing that it's yes and amen in Christ we will teach you how to pray with us and not towards us and you will join in prayer with us with the Christ who prays in heaven and the Holy Spirit who groans in intercession on earth we will teach you how to pray with us. And your favor will connect with your faith. And you will see amazing things happen. And the miracles and the things that the extraordinary things you see in the scriptures you will see in your own life because you will become a living embodiment of the Word yourself.